Louis Talma was born in France in 1906 and raised in New York City, studying at the institution that was to become known as Juilliard. Her father was a pianist who died when she was very young, and her mother was an operatic soprano. She received her master's degree at Columbia and supplemented this education by going to Europe over the summers to study with Nadia Boulanger, which she did for 14 consecutive summers leading up to World War II. Up until her training with Boulanger, Talma saw herself much more as a pianist, and credited Boulanger for recognizing her talent in composition and pushing her to fix things that did not work in her music. I thought all composers were dead, Talma told the New York Times. Composers were people you found in a book, who had written all this wonderful music that you heard at concerts. I knew from a very early age that I wanted to compose, but the idea that there were actually people out there now, in the flesh, actively writing music, did not occur to me for quite some time. Boulanger ended up as Talma's godmother upon her conversion to Catholicism. She and Boulanger had a very close relationship, and the exact nature of Talma's feelings for her teacher may have gone past the merely platonic. Her music took on elements of neoclassicism and an eclectic embrace of tonality before flirting with 12-tone techniques in the 1950s, much I would imagine to the chagrin of Mademoiselle Boulanger, who was very, very dead set against this style. Thomas' work fit the bill of the composers who were in vogue, and so she was able to teach and have pieces performed abroad. She won two consecutive Guggenheim fellowships, and was the first female composer to be inducted into the National Institute of Arts and Letters. She never believed in teaching composition, as she thought it actually impossible to teach. Despite her training from Boulanger, she only saw it viable in that it gave the student a toolbox with which to work. She was, however, very passionate about giving budding composers these tools, and so many of her notes she took while studying with Boulanger turned into textbook material. Much of her music contains vocal elements, as she was especially renowned for her ability to set words to music. Talma died in 1996 in Saratoga Springs, leaving behind an impressive body of work for a composer who was admittedly a very slow worker. At one point she said that she composed an average of four measures a day, working at them and refining them until they absolutely perfectly matched her artistic vision. She appreciated wit and humor and spontaneity in music, and she disliked any kind of music that she felt stuck all too rigidly to one singular system of composition. She also expected absolute obedience from her performers, not giving much leeway in her scores to personal interpretation. And despite many of her pioneering accomplishments, she was careful never to call herself a pioneer.